Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how we can connect our app with the Firebase real-time database. So before moving into the topic, I want to tell a very small introduction about the Firebase real-time database. If your application need to store and retrieve the data from the server, you have to consider a lot of things. Setting up a server and maintaining the database is a difficult time-taking process, right? So Firebase real-time database make our work very easier. So it's providing setup server and other functionalities as well. like. In the SDK site, we can use offline support. Uh, without wasting time, let's move into the topic. So I'm going to create one Android Studio project. So I'm going to click new project. Empty activity. Click next. And Firebase RB. And I just finish. So our project loaded successfully. I just minimize this man. There are two ways to connect our app with the Firebase real time database. So first you can able to see in the tool section there are one option called Firebase. So first I am going to tell very easy history. I just click Firebase. This is open up a window. You can see there are so many options available here. So but our choice is Firebase real time database. I just click this one. First I am going to click get started with Firebase real time database. First, we need to connect the Firebase real time database, right? I just going to click this one. So your application need to be built before connecting to the Firebase, right? So I just build. No problems found. Yeah, I just click this one again. So this will direct to that Firebase. So here I want to choose. So for in this case, I want to create a new project. Also, I just click add project. So here I keep the name as it is. Okay, then fine. I just click continue. Here enable Google Analytics for this project. I just keep it as it is. Here I want to choose the account. So I choose default account. Okay, that's fine. I just create the project. It take time to load the project. Just click continue. You can see there are one pop-up. Your Firebase app has been connected in Firebase. So I just click connect. So it is done. So I just go to that. Okay, you can see in the green color text is connected, right? You can see in the second option, add real time database to your app, right? So after I click this one, you can see these are the dependency I have to add. So if I click accept changes, this will automatically add these files into the exact locations i just click accept changes so before that i'm going to tell you can see in the build out cradle there are one option right firebase real database this is added after i click that accept changes okay this is done now i just click close this one and you can see in the third option configure real time database rules right there are one two uh, rule section is here so i just again go to that firebase real time database and read this one reload this one and click go to console here this is the database which we created before right i just click this one firebase rb you can see this is our app package name right com.example.firebase.rb so here I want to choose Firebase Return Database, third from the top. Okay, create a database. I just click this one. I keep the server location as it is. I just click next. You can see there are two options here. One is log mode and the test mode. So for, for initially we want to know whether it's working or not, right? For that case, I just click the test mode and click enable. So that's done. So this is our console. Okay, I just come back to that real time database. So the one also done, right? The, we had to follow the fourth one. So you can see in the fourth option, write your database. I just minimize this one. So here I'm going to write my own implementation here. So I'm going to declare database reference globally. So database reference, you can see that is from the Firebase database. So db ref or just we can call as database reference right that's a good thing so 
so here i'm going to call database reference and here i want to call the firebase database then i want to call that instance so this is a single time implementation then i have to call get reference right here i will i have to pass the path so my path is uh, this is the path okay that's fine then what i'm going to do is database reference after i call the database reference i want to set the value for that reference uh, set value hello there so that's fine after we set the value we have to listen whether it succeed or not so for that what i'm going to do is i have to type at on success listener so after i implemented this success listener you can see whether it come success this will notify in this method right so i likewise add on complete listener so first i am going to add uh, secondly i am going to add, add failure listener okay new on failure listener okay whether it's fail we can see we can uh, this will come to this method and we can handle that thing and add on complete listener right here i want to click new on complete listener that's fine so first see whether it's work or not then i will tell the explanation for these codes right so first i'm going to type the toast message here okay see i can able to see this hello world success right so you can see our database hello there this is a path so in the path here there before seeing the explanation for the code uh, this is my youtube channel guys so please subscribe to my channel and if you subscribe that will give my motivation to make another video so that's all guys and make sure to subscribe the video you can see first we are declaring database reference right so which reference holding the path so here we are calling firebase database get instance you can see get instance right which means this is a single time implementation so just click this uh, method with the command and you can able to see this is a single time implementation right so so if you don't know what is that design button in singleton just go and so just see and go some documentation in the internet so that will give a good explanation here so after that we are calling the reference so in the reference also you can see by clicking the command so here we have to provide the path right so we are giving the path this is a path after that we complete the initialization for the database reference right so then we have set the value for the hello there right so no not the hello there here there so i just change hello there right hello not hello right hello there right okay that's fine then we are listening this event i mean after we set this value we want to know so what happened after we serve this value right sometime it might success sometime it might fail right so we don't know what will happen in that feature right so that's why we are implementing this listener you can see if you click this one uh, this will go to open one method right this is abstract method right so this is a listener right so this is a listener is a interface so if it is success this will come to this line number 30 so if it is failure likewise you can see the failure listener right so this will come to 35 and if it is complete whether it succeed or not so if it is complete we can able to see this uh, complete listener line number 40 so you you don't know how to debug this one just i created one video before just go and go through the video that's will a very easy video you can debug and see whether how its uh, method is working like line by line you can check so again i am going to run this one because i change this hello there okay just go to this one you can see this not yet updated right let's see yeah see now it's working on success now go to here hello there right so it's working right so now what i'm going to do is i just want to keep the add on on complete listener so i am going to delete this on success and on failure and that's fine so here it's on complete right so here we can uh, get the task information right so if task so you can see that these are the task uh, properties right so if it's a task is successful so we can get the toast message here so else 
if it if it is not success i mean there are boolean value right so if it is failure so we can pass the failure message right so that's how we can use on complete listener and that's all for now so you can see i am going to delete these listeners that's fine so in the, from the next video we are going to see how we can read the value and thank you so much guys and if you like the video just hit the like button and subscribe my channel and thank you so much